There is breaking news now on Fox News Channel. It's late morning on Hawaii, and we have just gotten disturbing news from county officials there of major destruction happening overnight from the Kilauea volcano. We have just gotten word in the last few minutes that hundreds of homes and structures were destroyed overnight by a flood of, of lava coming from fissure number eight, one of those openings in the ground that's sending lava as many as 250 feet into the sky, flooding an area about a half mile wide with burning hot lava before it flows into the ocean. Uh, local officials there say there's lots of destruction, quoting, it's like a flood, it's just pouring out, covering everything in its path. It looks like there's no stopping it. At this time yesterday, we knew of dozens of structures destroyed, many hundreds of people evacuated. Now a brand new report of hundreds more structures destroyed. The USGS says the fountain at Fisher 8 has lowered a bit to less than 180 feet, but it's still sending a vigorous lava flow to the coastline. Mileka Lincoln has a look on the ocean off Kapoho Point. Aloha, we are here in what is left of Kapoho Bay. We are heading a little further out to sea, and that's so that we can avoid a plume of haze, lava haze, lays, that is starting now to billow up from the coastline as a result of the lava that continues to pour into the ocean here off of Kapoho Beach lots and vacation land. In fact, there is already a lava delta that is approximately seven tenths of a mile long, according to USGS H. HBO officials, you can see that steam that is rising along with that lays a health hazard as a result of hydrochloric acid making contact as lava mixes with that salt ocean water and sends out those fine glass particulates into the air. And that's exactly why we're moving as quickly as we are to get out of this situation. You can also see the ash, just the incredible amount of lava that is being kicked up as it pours into the ocean. That is one of the many hazards of this area. It's one of the reasons why the United States Coast Guard has created a 1,000 foot safety perimeter zone in each of the areas of ocean entry to keep folks safe. Now, of course, as the situation here changes, we will bring you the latest on Hawaii News Now. What we can tell you is that definitively this coastline has changed for many, many years to come. Vaiopai, the Kapoho tide pools now covered with lava and hundreds of homes lost in Kapoho and vacation land, including, of course, also Noni Farms Road, Papaya Farms Road, Leilani Estates and Lenny Puna Gardens. Since that very first fissure opened up on May 3rd on Mohala Street, the impact to the ocean is something that we are going to have have to check in with officials and experts about but what we've at least seen with our own eyes are dead fish dead turtles floating to the surface as a result again of lava continuing to pour into the water here be sure to stay tuned to Hawaii News now for the very latest for now back to you mm -hmm.